all right hey guys welcome to the latest video and in this one we are going to take a look at how to style lists basically the approach we are going to take is uh, style them similar to how bootstrap does because this is pretty neat and can be used at a lot of places so we will make something similar to this on how to style a unordered list basically so to get started as always i have some base styles on the body and i'll take this h1 off and get started with it so we we are going to have a ul and inside that let's say we have four list items all right so in all of these items i'm just going to say list item let's see what that gives us so right over here we have four list items which are not very readable because it's black colored text on a dark background so yeah that's what it is so let's give our ul a class of bg gray 100 yeah and now let's add some padding to it um, yeah and now i'm thinking we can make it rounded and then give it a fixed width width 32 cool now that we have that uh, we can go on to styling the elements before that you see in these list items there's this divider between each element and you can have a similar divider in tailwind css using uh, something called divide y and as you can see there's this i'll zoom in there's this light divider between these elements but it is not stretching for the whole width and also it's really light maybe we can go for divide by two nah, that's thicker so we can may maybe give it a color divide gray 700 let's see yeah that's really dark so you can play around with this basically if you wanted to add divisions between vertical items you can use divide y or they have a divide x as well yeah that doesn't make sense over here because our items are vertically aligned so we're using this divide y and we can give it a color using divide hyphen whatever color you want to and similarly you can give it an opacity as well so i have this gray 700 but i can tone down its opacity to 50 percent of what it is divide opacity 50 similarly you can set it to zero as well or 25 or 75 as well i think 50 is also too dark how about 25 yeah i think that looks about right so our problem is that these dividers aren't stretching for the whole width of this uh, list container basically so what we can do is for that is take off the padding from the container basically and put it on uh, individual items so that the padding is bit between the divider not outside it so we can say maybe px4 and py2 for each one of these yeah these look too huge right now because i'm too zoomed in and i guess i'll increase the width a bit from 32 to 48 yeah all right so that's our base list style we should also you know give it a softer color text color so instead of text black i am going to use text gray 800 it isn't that visible the difference but it's there for sure all right so imagine you were using this in your sidebar this list uh, sort of and you wanted to have icons over here so for one of the list item I'm going to show you how can we add an icon over there. So uh, we'll just click on this element, this icon to copy its SVG. Again, this URL is heroicons.dev. Um, the icons are by the creator of Tailwind CSS itself, so it's pretty nice. And right over here, I'll paste in the SVG for the icon. As you can see, we have something that's really messed up. So on the SVG, we can add classes to configure this properly maybe let's say h5 w5 so h5 5 basically in the spacing scale for tailwind stands for 
uh, 1.25 RAM I am think I'm not sure but it's most probably 1.25 RAM all right but now these are in different lines we want them to be side by side basically so uh, in the same line but space between them so we can say flex flexbox is the perfect solution for this kind of thing flex what fl adding a flex class does is it just it's equivalent to display flex and then to add uh, for, to add space between them you would normally do justify content space between but what you the tailwind class that corresponds to that is justify hyphen between and now these are uh, horizontally misaligned a bit so we can just say items center yeah that aligns it all right so the next thing that i want to show you guys is implementing a chip sort of thing instead of the icon so of course you won't mix chips icons and plain list items like in one area only i'm just showing it for the sake of demonstration so for example i have a, i have a small bag sort of let's say this this doesn't stand for list item but it stands for messages and in a small badge you wanted to show how many messages there are so i could say about like four plus or something let's see how that shows up all right that those are in different lines so first step as always we can add flex to this and then justify between and items center all right now first step to styling this is i'll say class is equal to text xs badges are supposed to be compact then we can say let's say let's try bg blue 300 and then padding on the x axis for one and rounded uh, what did i type rounded full cool i think that looks decent it's still large larger than how i would envision it to be and honestly bg blue 300 is looking like shit so i'm just gonna go with bg gray 800 text gray 200 yeah this looks much more decent so that's about it for this video guys we saw how we could style list items and then like add badges or icons sort of like whatever you want based on your use case all right guys so if you like this video definitely just hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you thought about this and for more such videos coming up just hit the subscribe button already because you know amazing content like this is going to keep rolling in all right guys see ya